My name is Andre Laney, and I'm from Youngsville, Louisiana. I work on Laney Farms, and then I own Double L Farms. On Laney Farms, it consists of my dad being the owner, and I'm just the overseer of the operation. We grow sugar cane. Oh, working with my dad. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we try to do quality work and not quantity. Like, we'd we rather like the work. first time, but don't do it at all. Yeah. See, we rather work 100 acres a day and do it right, all said and done, than work 500 acres a day and it, is, it, it ain't, ain't to our liking. Without him, I really wouldn't know what I know now. So it, it's been good working on the farm with him. If you're talking about the conditions we farm in, I mean, we'll go from hot summer, summer days to cold, wet winters, and the mud is just, it destroys everything. You take a piece of plastic on a tractor and you'll just rip it apart. And that's why we went with these Masseys, they're a little bit better stout tractor. You got more room underneath the cab so the mud doesn't just climb up in there back. So it's easier to clean, easier to maintenance. Uptime is very important in, in operation, as big as we are. We transferred from John Deere to Massey about, about a year or so ago. My name is Clayton Richard, I'm from New Iberia, Louisiana, and I'm the general manager and sales manager for USA Equipment. I introduced them into the Massey Ferguson line. The tractors come with all the power they need. Any tool we got, they pull it and they don't and we'll take a second look at it. But today, right now, we all in cane out and the tractor, you don't even notice the wagon back here. Don't notice it at all. Won't spin, won't do nothing. Pull it like, pull it like she's supposed to. When they move the wagon, they'll probably stay as low as a, as low as a thousand RPMs. As when we get in a John Deere, we almost gotta have it wide open to even just move the cart to get it out the roads when it's full. When you're using a DTM system, the fuel economy is uh, unbelievable. Last year we ran nine John Deere tractors and we probably went through a transport maybe more every week and then this year putting on three Masseys along with our John Deere's we saved a bunch of money in fuel considering we didn't order every week it was every two weeks or every two and a half weeks. We have one tractor that, that will set in a, in a DTM mode and when you put it next to a John Deere well, the John Deere will have half a tank and this one's still full. The cost per hour has been greatly reduced and they're very satisfied with the equipment. Out of the fleet of these masses, my favorite has to be that 8737. That has got to be the nicest track that I've ever gotten in. I have her on a finish blade, a 24 foot Namco finish blade, and she passes after my two big buckets and our grade fields. And then I also put on a fiber opener to get beds ready for planting. The inside, I can set it to however I want and no one else will get in it because I don't let anyone in my tractor. The simplicity of the tractor, the cost of ownership, the efficiency of the tractor, and the quality. That's why you want to own a Massey. Well, I've been knowing Clayton for years, and then he's never let us down on these tractors. He's always been good on his word. We've been getting great deals on these tractors. We had great service because of them. I don't think we're going to look back. Well, the average row crop farmer will put average of 300 hours per year on a tractor. Uh, in this area, cane farmers normally double, if not more, a, the conditions are much worse, and if it works in this condition, it'll work anywhere. It, it's 100% better than a John Deere. You know, we, our downtime is little. You know, even if you're only putting 500 hours a year, it you still ain't got to touch it. If it can do this cane work, it can do anything. Mm -hmm.